there's one reason I really like Mercedes-Benz is the consistency of their design and the parts they use in all these models. This shifter assembly is basically the same from the late 60s all the way up to the mid 1990s, but it does suffer from one problem and it's a very inexpensive part and that's the bushings wear out. And when they wear out, this gets really sloppy and it may even rattle while you're driving the car. This is an important safety issue. Let me show you uh, this mechanism up close. Here's a typical shifter assembly removed from some of these older models. This unit right here was used in the W114, W115, W116, the early W107, and, and the 123 models, all the way up to, you know, 85. Now, the, you're looking at a W126 over here. The shifter looks a little different on the top, but underneath the mechanism is still the same, and it still uses those same bushings. So the problem, the problems are twofold. One is you run into some problems with the actual bushing on the end of the rods, and you also have an internal bushing that can fail, and I'm going to show you these up real close now. Here's the location of the primary bushing on the shifter itself. There's also one on the transmission shift lever. So there's two bushings. This is what they look like. They're made out of a plastic nylon material. And what happens with age, they just fall apart and then the rod will be real loose in here. And you can actually, the car will actually come out of park. That's the safety issue you have to be concerned about. So these are a very inexpensive part, but they're not very easy to put in, okay? And I've done a number of videos about this. I'm not going to show everything in this video again, but I will refer to some of these other videos. This is a special tool that we now make in our shop here, which will allow you to get into the car. And what you can do is actually take the bushing like this, get into the car, throw it up in there, and you just press it in like that. It just snaps right in. So if you have the tool, this is the tool here, which will help you get the clip off. Actually getting, getting the little safety clip off the rod can be as much frustration as getting the bushing in this hole. There's no way, there's no way you can push this in, squeeze it in, use a screwdriver. They just won't go in, particularly when you're working under the car, and that's where this tool really does the job. So if it's just shift bushings, uh, you know, you need these, you need the install tool, and you can do this yourself. But the other problem, and you see it in this one, look at the play right here. I don't know if you can see it. See the play in the movement right there? Now that play is caused by a broken bushing right here. You can see the bushing is loose, and these replacement parts are not available. So if you're picking up play due to looseness in the shaft, in the assembly itself, then I recommend that you get a replacement shifter assembly out of a used car. That's the best way to do this, and we have these available on our, our website as well. And by the way, I came up with this little special clip tool. After years, I'm talking years of frustration, trying to get up there with a little screwdriver and trying to spread those little clips apart and put them on and off. I mean, that can be really frustrating. We also, in our kits, we provide a special synthetic grease, which when applied to these bushings will really help to get them to just slide into those holes. So I'm not going to go over everything in this video. I've shot a number of videos. I have some instructions. We have kits available. What I'm going to do now is just tell you that I'm going to put all the links in the show more description below. Just go and click on show more and I'll send you to the links of the other videos because there are some models which are very difficult to install this and particularly the W201 chassis. I'll, I'll put a link to that video. I'll put a link to a couple other videos on YouTube where I talk more specifically about the shift bushings and related problems. And then I'll, there'll be a couple links where it'll take you right to my website if you're interested in buying this kit. This is something that you can do yourself. This is a good starter DIY job. And I would say, unless these have been replaced, nine out of 10 older Mercedes need to have them changed.